Today we're gonna fix our set of 18 inches negative offset rims onto a Ford Ranger. So negative offset rim is actually quite common in 4x4 world. It's actually one of the very very desirable traits for 4x4 user as you can see because it makes the car look very muscular because the rim is sticking out from the body. So, so it's actually one of the desirable traits that the, all the 4x4 users are looking for. However, there's a few things that you need to understand before actually thinking about choosing this kind of rims. So this rim is a 18 inches fuel wafer. This rim has offset of negative 13. So what does it mean? The original stock rims of this car is po uh, positive 55. If you want to put into the comparison, this rim is actually more out. The position of this rim is more out by 68 mm compared to the original. So as a result, we can see very clearly the rim is actually sticking out from the body. Since because of the rim is actually sticking out, so we need to be careful when we choose tire size for this car. I know for 4x4, the fact that we can actually put a bigger tires, we can, we can this is current one is actually 265, 60, 18, but we can put maybe 265, 65, maybe 285, 60, or even 285, 65, 18. So it's actually we have a lot of choices of tires. But because of the ring is sticking out, we need to consider is that when we do turning, steering the time, whether this thing is gonna touch this or not. The bigger uh, the bigger the tires, uh, there's a more chances of it touching this. So something for us, uh, for you guys to understand that uh, if you want a very negative offset rims, you need to consider the tires. You, if you want to go for a extra big tires, you probably have to jack up the car at least two inches in order to cover up so that it, so that when turning steering, this thing won't touch the mark light. So another thing that we need to consider is that when we have the rim is slightly more out, the, the, the tires are actually no longer covered by the mud flat. So, so, so when you look at it, every time you went through some muddy water, the whole car is actually very get very dirty because the, the, the rim and tire is coming out. So the whole car actually is going to splash out, splash out a bit. So something to consider, uh, something to consider when you choose this kind of rims. So another thing is that because of the white surface, means that our turning radius is bigger means that when you want to do a U-turn, probably we have to do a few turns. Rather than, compared to last time, maybe you can do a U-turn in one shot. This time, maybe you have to, uh, you have to do twice. So, you, you understand what I mean? Thank you guys for watching. If you like us, please remember to subscribe to us and click the bell button below. And always, if you have any questions, please WhatsApp us, DM us, Facebook us. We'll answer them as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching. i see you guys in the next video.